Good morning. Are you serious? Today's Good Friday. It's uh, recognized as Good Friday around the world. And uh, I hope you and your family this weekend, holiday weekend, of course, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ on Sunday. I hope you have a great weekend of time of fellowship, worship, and time with your family. And uh, I've got some powerful scripture I want to read to you. But I've got an article I think is fascinating, actually, coming right out of the Holy Land. Let me just read it. Um, the AP is reporting that uh, Roman Catholics and Protestants are in the Holy Land and they're commemorating the crucifixion of Jesus Christ on this Good Friday during prayers and processions through Jerusalem's old city. And I would say that's very powerful because if you've been in the old city of Jerusalem, down by the Wailing Wall, there's the Temple Mount, you can go through by next to the church of the of the Holy Sepulchre. You can go down the streets, the cobblestone streets of Jerusalem, tight, winding, with all the little shops, just as it was in the days when Jesus was there under the Roman Empire of Caesar. And along the Bella Della Rosa, you can walk what's called the Stations of the Cross. It's what would be a powerful, powerful time it would be to be on the streets of Jerusalem today and this weekend. But Roman Catholics and Protestants in the Holy Land are commemorating the crucifixion of Jesus Christ today on this Good Friday during prayers and processions through the Jerusalem's old city. But in the West Bank, um, adjacent to Bethlehem, Palestinian Catholics uh, have reenacted Jesus' 14 stations of the cross in their olive groves and vineyards. And they're also protesting Israeli's construction of settlements and separation barriers. I don't know if there's... I, I really think that the, the writer from the Associated Press put that in there to make this part of the story. I don't think that when you're, um, when you're reenacting the 14 stations of the cross, I don't think you're in a process of protesting. You're in a process of remembering what Christ's suffering that he did for humanity to set man fri totally free from sin. Um, but this Easter holiday and Jewish Passover coincide this year, according to the Gospels. Jesus ate his last supper and a traditional Passover feast, hours before he was betrayed and condemned to death. Uh, Eastern Orthodox Christians follow a different calendar, and they will mark their Good Friday next Friday. Okay, so this is what's going on in Jerusalem as Protestants and Roman Catholics together are worshiping the same Lord, Jesus Christ. Well, why not? We're all part of the body of Christ, and it's so powerful to think that today, that all around the world, folks have to stop and look at the cross of Calvary. Can I share with you some scripture um, found in the 27th chapter of the book of Matthew? When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself, brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and he hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, Is it not lawful for to put them into the treasury? Because it is the price of blood. It's not lawful. And they took counsel and they bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Wherefore, that field was called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou 
the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he had accused of the chief priests and elders, he answering nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Now at that feast the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner, whom they would. They had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. And when he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with this just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priest and the elders persuaded the multitude, and they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whither of the twain will ye that I release unto you? And they said, Barabbas. And Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? And they all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. And when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a turmoil was made, he took water, and he washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be upon us and our children. Oh, hallelujah. Then released he Barabbas unto them, and when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers, and they stripped him, and they put on him a scarlet robe, and when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him. They mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him, and they took the reed, and they smote on his head. And after that, they had mocked him. They took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man, Simon of Cyrene, by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they had come unto the place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall, and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him, and they parted his garments casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there, and set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand, another on the left, and they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads, saying, Thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three days, save thyself. If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief priests, mocking him with the scribes and elders, said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross. And we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now. And if he will have him, for he said, I am the son of God. It's this moment, folks. At this moment, the world was in a completely against him, yet he was completely for us all. And the question is, you might say, I'm guilty of the blood of Christ. Well, don't feel bad. All of us are. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's none of us righteous. No, not one. Now, are you saved? Have you believed the gospel story that Jesus gave his life on that cross and he rose from the dead? Send me a personal message. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. 